was right. Yo, what is up, guys? Back again to the channel. So, guys, Marvel Legends has will just released their new wave of Infinity Saga uh, figures. And I'm very excited to just list them out. And I'm saying, when I saw this, I, at first, I didn't believe it. I thought it was, like, concept art. But, no, this is for real. Like, the Marvel Legends people released this. And, the, yeah, this is for real. This is for real. But yeah, guys, let's go on with the video. So, guys, first off on the list, is the Mark II suit from the very first Iron Man movie. The gray suit where he took the test fly. Guys, I've been seeing people for a very long time, ever since they made Infinity Saga figures, they made concept art of this suit because they wanted this suit. Like, I don't know, I guess people just really like this suit. Because I guess it looks very clean. I'm not going to lie, it looks very clean. I'm not a big, I'm not a very big fan of it. I really like the, the red suit, Iron Man, the classic suit, but, but, hey, this looks very cool. Um, but yeah, this looks very, this looks uh, very cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be getting it. I don't know. Me personally, I, I, I don't really, like, care that much for it, but it definitely looks very cool. It comes with, um, two hands, two blast effects that are very cool. It comes with the unmasked, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark head. Looks very cool. Uh, it looks very cool. Um, yeah, uh, th but th this was one of the three that were already shown. All right, so yeah, let's go on to the second one that was already shown. Um, Bruce Banner, guys, I'm going to be getting this. I'm going to be getting this one, guys. This one's gonna be like one of my all my hit lists. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm working on a project, and I really need a Bruce Banner figure. And this one just came in clutch. I really need this one. So yeah, I cannot wait to get this one. I cannot wait to get this one. I hope it, I hope it goes on sale. Cause like it doesn't, it doesn't come with anything too crazy. I hope Marvel, guys. What I'm really happy about is like the clear, the clear packaging. Like you can see the mirror packaging. I'm really happy about that because like when you go in person, you see the figure in person. It makes you think twice. It makes you think twice of like if you want the figure. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, um, I really like it. Yeah, looks very cool. Um, definitely gonna be getting. It. I hope it goes on sale. I hope it go. They go back to the regular price, twenty dollars. You know I'm saying. I think the twenty five dollar thing is a bit extreme. But yeah, it's understandable. Okay. Next up on the list is, oh, oh yeah, he just comes with two hands, or two grabbing hands. I guess, like, he was, like, typing a keyboard or something, two fist hands, you know what I'm saying? Then here you have Natasha Romanoff from Captain America the Winter Soldier. She also comes with the head sculpt that's from Age of Ultron. So if you want to switch them out, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm still considering this one. I don't know if I'm going to 100% get it. Um, I really love the black suit. I, I don't have the one, I have the white suit from the Black Widow movie. I would love to get this one, but it, it, like, like, when I see it in person, I'm gonna see how I feel, you know what I'm saying, if I see it in person, I'm gonna see how I feel, depending on the price, so I'm saying, if, if it's on clearance or on sale, then obviously I would 100% get it, but I want to see, like, first, like, when the time comes, yeah, but this one looks very, very, very cool, I'm so excited they decided to release this, so I'm saying, I don't think they, I, th I know they released it before, released something like this before, but I don't think they've ever, like, done it, like, in a while, like, I think, like, the last time they did, like, a black suit, like, a proper one, was like I don't think they ever done the one from Winter Soldier though. So like yeah, like that's pretty crazy though. Oh, I, yeah, they did. Never mind. I, I I just remembered. Yeah, but they haven't done it in a while though. So I'm glad they. Like, it's pretty cool to really re release it. I guess. Here it comes with two blast effects, two pistol uh, gun hands, two pistols, which is very very cool. Um yeah. Next up on the list is Thor, Thor from the Dark World suit, guys. Marvel Legends must really like this armor suit, because, like, I'm not going to lie, they used it twice already. Like, they used it in the two-pack, and then they, it, it, that was already, like, the first 10 years type thing, and then they just re released it again, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't mind it, but I wish they could have done something new, like, give us maybe, like, a re-release of, like, the Age of Ultron one, you know what I'm saying? Age of Ultron one, I would love, I would have loved to have that suit specifically, Maybe even a prop, maybe even like a proper Infinity War one, upgraded one. That would be very, that would be very, very cool. But a, this one still looks cool. Um, like I said, this is definitely one of the ones that I don't know if I'm gonna get because I already have, I already have two Thors. But when the time comes, if it's on good sale on a pr good price, then I'll get it. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that other head for Thor, it's a bit goofy, but I like it. But it's, it's okay though. Um, he comes with two, like, opening hands. I guess it's, like, for, like, thunder effects. And then he has two holding hands. And then here he, he has the Mjolnir. You know what I'm saying? They're very, very... It looks... 
I think this one looks very, very good when it comes to Chris Hemsworth. That looks very, very good. Next up on the list is the Civil War Iron Man. Guys, this one, like, the color grading is so good. Like, the metallic, uh, you can just see the metallic. Guys, this one be one that I'm definitely not going to get. It's not because I don't like it. I really, really like it. But it's because I already have the 2016 Civil War one. I already have it. And I, ha I had the Tony Stark head that's like that. That came in the two-pack with Thanos. So, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass up on this one. Even if it's on sale, I I, I want I don't want to have two of the exact same suits. You know what I'm saying so, but it looks very very cool. I really like it. Um, it looks very very cool. So if, if somebody who's just starting out, this this wave of Infinity Sagas are very very good for people who are just start like starting their starting to collect MCU figures, M specifically MCU figures. And this is a very good start because they here they have the Civil War suits. You know what I'm saying this is probably one of the best Civil War. This is the, one of the best Iron Man mold figures ever. Like, great posability, great everything. Like, I think people who are going to get this are going to have a lot of fun posing it in the displays and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He comes with the same effects that the other one came in just without the head. The, hum the Tony Stark head. Next up on the list. Guys, it's Civil War. Oh, my God, guys. I really wanted this one, guys. I really wanted this one. But, guys, so basically, recently, I saw him a car, a very good deal. For a war machine figure and it came with a don cheeto open masked head right and it was like 12 dollars, right i'm a kari so i got it but like i really wanted this one specifically and like and like i'm a kari like they're a bit like over it's not overpriced you can see some for good deals but i don't know like something like they're not they're missing their pieces and i think that's the whole point i wanted this suit for because like i want it to be like war machine you know what i'm saying but guys i'm not gonna lie I really wanted this one, but I'm gonna have to wait, wait to see the price specifically, the price on it. If it's good, then I'll get it. But I, I really, like, I'm probably, I'm gonna like, I really want to get this one, but I just have to wait to see. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Next up on the list, oh, he comes with all these effects. I really, really like. He comes with this taser thing that he attacked Captain America with. He comes with these blast effects and stuff like that, which I really, really like. He comes with two open hands, which would be very cool. Yeah. Um, I kind of don't like that ball joint, like, the, in the hand. I kind of don't like that. Um, that's what McFarlane's doing. I'm just not a big fan of it. Uh, I, I, I don't know if it's going to be a big factor when it comes to the figures, but it's okay, though. We'll see. This one I am getting. This one. This is the one that is going to be the very first one I ever get in this way. This is going to be the one I'm going to get. This is the one. Guys, I never had a, uh, uh, I never had a real Marvel Legends spider-man figure for a majority of the time my mcu collection i've been using the basic mcu spider-man figures the basic figures like the ten dollar figures um i have i got the one from homecoming that came in the car and that decided that design looked very cool so i thought i just settled with that one but guys this one is very this one's so perfect it comes with the peter parker head it's perfect i need this one i need this one i'm gonna get it but yeah guys um, he just comes with a human head. He comes with two web hands, you know what I'm saying? From the two fists. It looks very, very cool. I like it. Yeah. Next up on the list is this Captain America, the Winter Soldier suit. Guys, this is going to be the one. Though I already have so many Captain America Marvel Legends. But this is going to be one of the ones I just get just to have it. I don't care. I, I, like, I will pay full price for this. This one looks so good. I will pay full price for this. I this one looks so good. This will be the second one I get. You, you guys know Captain America is my favorite super of all time, and this suit just looks so good. Um, guys, I still have the, the Infinity Saga, uh, Infinity War Captain America. That when he's like no bad nomad type suit. Um, and I never opened it out of the box. I just have it just to have it because I really like that suit. Just same with this one. I'm just gonna have this one just to have it. And guys, I really want this one. I'm not gonna lie, I think that Steve Rogers head is very weak. I think they've done a much better one. But guys, it's okay though. I mean, I already have my other Steve Rogers head, so yeah. This one looks very cool. I really like it. Uh, the gray shield, I really like this one too. I really, I really like this one too. I don't know if they've ever done this before, but I really like this one. Next up on the list is... Oh, so guys, that's pretty much it. Um, so basically, right here, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this entire way. I think it's very cool. I think, I think, I think this wave was definitely designed for people who are just starting out in Marvel Legends. 
because you know Marvel Legends has been they always grow you know what I'm saying and people want to hop in on the trend like not the trend but like they want to hop in like on the the weight like the waves and stuff like that you know what I'm saying but guys I'm gonna be honest um as much as I am very excited for that new Spider-Man Bruce Banner the new figures the new uh like re-releases I feel like in terms of the Infinity Saga this is weak this is very very weak here's why they already released the same body mold of Thor. They already released a few times. They released the, the War Machine in, two, in a two-pack multiple times. They released that Iron Man uh, Civil War suit a few times. Guys, I am just like, like, guys, when it comes to Infinity Saga, I was very happy when they made, when they made Odin, when they made Quicksilver, when they made um, characters that they never made before, like Ronan the Accuser, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I just think it's very weak for them to just re-release old figures. Not even give them new body molds or nothing. The only thing I see new from this is the head. But that head is like from the Civil War pack from the Crossbones, you know what I'm saying? But don't worry, I still, I'm still going to get these. I still think they're very cool. But I wish they did new stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like new, new, give us new stuff. Like if they're going to like give us like these Outriders, we can army build those. Give us maybe like a worthy Captain America with like a broken. Sh I think they already gave us that. That's not how my case, but maybe give us like the Warrior Three guys. I my MCU collection, the guys. I I've been wanting to get these three, and the only ones I can find are the three point seventy five inch scales, and those won't those don't fit next to Marvel Legends. They can also make this guy from uh, Wakanda from Black Panther. You know what I'm saying uh, they also can make the Ancient One guys. I would love to have an Ancient One in my MCU display, dude. And Kaisili's like, the villains, the, he would look so good in the villains collection, you know what I'm saying? Same with Whiplash, dude. Like, he doesn't even have to come with this Tony Stark. Like, I would just love for the Whiplash himself, too. And that Bruce Banner, like, if they were going to give us Bruce Banner, they could have, like, at least, I don't know, maybe given him us in the two-pack or something, I'm saying? Like, and, like, give us, like, Eitri, the guy who, from Infinity War, you know what I'm saying? I think this would be, like, there's so many, and they could have just given us... Like, Jataris. Like, we could have just army built Jataris. You know I'm saying? I feel like this wave was a bit weak in terms of giving us new stuff. I would love to have new figures. New figures. If if they had just a... If they mixed it up, like, with, like... Just like the, the, the um... The, the Infinity Saga pack when they had the, the two pack with Thanos and Iron Man. And they had Quicksilver. Then they had Odin. Then they had Ronan the Accuser. They had a bunch of stuff. But I'm just like, come on, dude. Come on. They could have given us new stuff, and I was, I was, like, when I, when I found out they were making a new Infinity Saga, I was actually really excited. I was like, yo, are they going to give us an ancient one? I was hoping to get, get a three, maybe something of, like, one of these guys, you know what I'm saying? That would have been very cool, but fortunately not, you know what I'm saying? Very weak. And if they're going to give us re-releases of the same character, why not give us a new body mold, a new suit? Like, they never given us a Marvel Legend of the, um, Infinity War suit, this suit. And I'm, t I'm telling you right now, this suit is very, very clean. This shit was very, very clean, and I really liked it. It's very, like, it, like, it just looks so cool. It has so much potential, you know what I'm saying? But, unfortunately, they never did. I would have loved to have him in my villains collection, you know what I'm saying? They could have given us Abomination. Why not go back to the uh, uh, Incredible Hulk route, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you know what I'm saying? This Hulk, I don't really mind us not getting it, obviously. But they could also could have given us the, the MCU Destroyer. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things they could have done, and I feel like... I feel like I, I was watching this video from Shardim's Prime. Shout out to Shardim's Prime. Um, and I was watching this video when he was interviewing them. And they were basically just talking about how it takes a lot of time just, just to do, like, just to do, like, uh, the same different body mold and stuff like that. But I'm just like, come on, guys. Like, the whole point of Marvel Legends is for us to get new stuff. New waves. That's the whole point of new waves. We don't want to get, like, 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 don't get me wrong. Like, I'm very happy about that Spider-Man, the Captain America and stuff like that, but... I would have really much preferred stuff like these, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. I would have, you guys, I'm really, like, so bitter. Like, after, after I seen this picture with the three-pack of, like, uh, these three guys from Thor, I would have loved to just have them in my collection. I would have really loved to have the ancient one. Dude, the ancient one would have been so badass, you know what I'm saying? Um, this guy from Wakanda, you know what I'm saying? He would have been very, very cool to have. This guy from uh, Infinity War would have been very, very cool to have also. I wish they gave us new stuff, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, they didn't. Um, guys, um, I'm not gonna lie, it's very cool. I'm gonna get, I mean, I'm gonna get like probably a few of them at most. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'll, I'm not gonna get the entire thing because I still need to get the Marvel Legends Disney Plus um, Hydra Stomper Bath Wave. I still need to focus on that. 
but guys like this still looks very cool i think they could have done better with these you know what i'm saying but a who knows maybe they're gonna release figures in the future release those figures in the future potentially i don't know most likely not i mean i, I kind of doubt it to be honest because because these are like because like at the point of like hasbro right now they kind of don't want to like keep doing they don't want to like keep making like real new figures but it's okay though but i mean it's not okay but i mean it's whatever but guys please like and subscribe comment down below let me know your thoughts on this wave are you guys excited about this new wave of marvel legends what's your thoughts like are you tired of the, the new same old same old wave are you are you gonna get some of these figures are you gonna just let me know what you come in, in the thoughts down below let me know in the uh, comments um yeah guys so next time guys peace and take care